NONDC is a community development organization focused on the revitalization of the central city area. We view home ownership as the cornerstone in our approach to neighborhood development. It builds wealth for residents and provides them with stability. Home ownership is critical in an area like this in New Orleans, really anywhere in the United States. We are a unique country where home ownership is a defining feature of a healthy neighborhood. I was in one apartment basically up until the storm. And then one year after the storm, really up until I moved into the house, I lived in four different places. And so it was a big time of transition. I lived out of boxes the whole time. It was a total pain in the neck. And um, that's when I met Chris Roth actually at, at Cafe Reconcile and found out about this program and said, I want to do something different where mm -hmm. I can live in a stable place. Well, before the hurricane, I lived on South Cleveland. So after the hurricane, I came back home, I decided to buy me a house. Because I just felt like it was time, you know, I'm always doing things and spending money different different places and, and I thought it was time for me to take my money, put it somewhere and get me something nice. And I learned a lot about saving saving my money and, and being wiser about that kind of thing in the meantime. And I'm more mature huh. and, you know, I look at things more better than I did before I owned the house. You know, I was so excited that I was getting this house and I knew where it was going to be. And so I would drive by here all the time all the time every day and like to show people oh look here's the lot where my house is gonna be and one day i drove by and there's these two trailers i was like oh my gosh that's my house when i walk up on these steps and look in this door it felt like home yeah i said this is where i want to be yeah it took me a while to get it but i got it and also my mother has six children i'm the first one to purchase my home mm. so that was a good blessing for our family too since then, it's been great to be able to network with my neighbors through NONDC and, and figure out strategies for making our block and our street a safer place and a place that we all want to live in and to make it a place where, where other people who want a safe place to live will come to. NONDC is about to break ground on two new homes on South Liberty Street. As a new neighbor, we reached out to residents who live there to see what other resources we might be able to offer them to improve their block. I've seen some of the houses in other places. It's going to be a wonderful place for the community. Well, not to be blighted, lots of grass you won't be grown up. We are very excited about the houses that y'all are getting ready to put in the community because we know when you put the houses in the community on the blotted like lot, we could come together as one in unity to keep our community vibrant, exciting, and with the trees and everything. Abandoned buildings and empty lots are a big problem in Central City. They invite crime and make neighboring homes less desirable places to live. I'm concerned about the drug problem. Uh, recently, in the last uh, three months, we have had three murders. I'm concerned about the blighted properties. Yeah, the house next to me is blighted and uh, it's going to fall down. It's all bushy, weeds growing over, and uh, it's just unsafe. and. Uh, it's, it's really downgrading the property. So like I say, you know, if, if there's crime, there's blight. Because, as I said earlier, they are hide the drugs in the blighted property. And that also caused health problems. In order to fight against blight, NONDC has worked with residents to form a property campaign. Here, residents come up with solutions that have ranged from organizing neighborhood cleanup days to writing letters to landlords asking them to clean up or sell their neglected properties. We decided on, we decided on Saturday that we would uh, all sign a petition to send to the homeowners to let them know that we are concerned about the neighborhood. They're not, they're not keeping up their properties, and we would like for them to come in and clean the property up and find some beautiful neighborhood. With the cleaning of the neighborhood and the cleaning of the divided properties, and we are aware of it, and the drug dealers are aware of it, they will no longer hide their drugs in the abandoned houses. At NONDC, we realize that there is more to neighborhood revitalization than building houses. Home ownership is at the core of our work, but it's part of a greater picture. We have programs focused on reducing blight in the area, developing community assets, and engaging with residents. Whether we're building new homes or conducting neighborhood surveys, we're proud to offer job opportunities to neighborhood residents. The purpose of the neighborhood survey would have to be to basically get a good feel of the neighborhood to see um, what the neighborhood need and the concerns of the neighborhood. Um, also to 
reach out to potential home buyers. NONDC agreed to put out to bid some of their affordable houses to small contractors. They identified uh, four contractors uh, through a screening process uh, and actually awarded um, three houses to one of our small contractors. First they started out with a rehab house and they did a really good job on that and they gave them uh, two more houses. This gives these small contractors an opportunity that they wouldn't otherwise be able to access. Basically uh, this project is a renovation. Uh, it used to be a duplex and mm -hmm. we converted to a single family uh, resident. Uh -huh. And we will start uh, hopefully next week on a new construction. We know Mr. Glover from the neighborhood actually. Um, he's a guy that we've noticed been doing landscaping work in the neighborhood for, for a while now. Um, it came to our attention actually that Mr. Glover had a tax problem with the city. Uh, Williams, Mr. Bowling, uh -huh. and several others, uh -huh. uh, they were eager to see me regain the title to my property. Okay. And so they decided to help me by allowing me to work for NONDC. We employed Mr. Glover to landscape our yards. It's been a win-win for both parties. I mean, we, we got a guy in the neighborhood that can kind of like oversee our properties, manage them well, and at the same time, um, give him an opportunity to support himself financially. Like in this block, we hired uh, two people already. That oh, they really? Can, yeah, they came and asked us for a job. Uh, one live around the corner, and they we, we, we were able to provide them with with a job for the time that we're here, so. When the Housing Authority of New Orleans announced its competitive process for the redevelopment of the former CJP public housing complex, NONDC reached out to national developer McCormick Bear and Salazar and convinced them to apply with us. Since then, the two groups have been working in partnership to build and fill the 460 mixed income rental units at the new Harmony Oaks apartments. McCormick Bear and Salazar has led on the construction and national nonprofit Urban Strategies provides community and supportive services to residents. At Harmony Oaks, NONDC has worked closely with Urban Strategies case managers. We've also advocated for and helped develop schools, workforce training programs, parks, and other community assets surrounding the site. Um, NONDC's role in the CJP redevelopment was critical. They were really the glue that sort of held everything together. Certainly had a wonderful large-scale development partner to do the architecture and to do the street work and things like that. But it's really about community building and the people building. NONDC has been uh, the, the point group of organization that's focused on all the people components, uh, improving the schools around the area, making sure we had a school in this community, making sure A.L. Davis Park is working, and now they're really focused on trying to get an improved commercial spot or corridor along with South. It's all about community building, and that's really what they bring to this entire redevelopment project. We've established a partnership with NONDC to revitalize the community. Um, basically, our role is to promote promote more community engagement, the people side, mm -hmm. as opposed to what NONDC is doing. But with them working with us on the people side, that has promoted more involvement with the individuals from the community. Uh, community building is important for the whole surrounding area. You can't transform a neighborhood by just changing the bricks and mortar. So you've got to make sure that not only do you make beautiful, I mean, around us we have a beautiful development, but you also have health in the surrounding neighborhood. They've helped us with the blight surrounding mm -hmm. Harmony Oaks because it's one thing to focus on the redevelopment of the community, mm -hmm. but if you don't focus on the buildings adjacent to the community, it's like you're, you're doing a half, half of a job. You know, one of the things we learned in Katrina is the interconnectedness of everything. Um, you know, housing can't happen without uh, job opportunities, can't happen without health care, can't happen without education, uh, child care. Um, so all of these things are very interconnected. Um, and an organization like NONDC is uh, really in a great position to help coordinate all of their efforts since they have this broader view as us, most of us do, of how do we really create a better quality of life in Central City. Um, and NONDC is an important partner um, in convening and uh, coordinating those activities since they play such an active role in, uh, in rebuilding the infrastructure. Uh -oh. Thank you once again for taking time to listen to us when we had our concerns. And we would like to continue the relationship with the uh, NONDC 
to make our community better and a vibrant community. At NONDC, we look at the big picture. We organize property campaigns, broker commercial development, and support job creation. We do this not just to make Central City a better place, but more specifically, a better place to buy a home.